Cool, where are we today, Tanya? We are now driving into Nafleo, which is in um, Argolidas in Peloponnese. So this is like the centre of Nafleo. Um, obviously this big thing on the uh, left. left is the castle, Nafleo, Nafleon, Nafleo Castle. And that's amazing. Um, it's got 996 steps. No, it hasn't. No, go on then, tell us, tell us all about <laughs> it, come on. Um, so the locals say it has 999 steps um, and that the top one got kicked over by, I can't remember whose horse it was, but somebody's horse. But in reality, there's actually 857. Now, I haven't counted myself for that. But apparently, yeah, the, the actual number is, eight, I think it's 857. Again, it's in my blog post, but I can't remember. 100% ah. off the top of my head. Right. So it's got lots of steps. Now, yeah. you can walk up the steps and it's exhausting, isn't it? No. I found it exhausting to walk up. That's because I'm old <laughs> and fat. Yes. I'm not fat. Um, but you don't have to. I found this when I got to the top is that you walk around the back of the castle and you can drive up and there's a car park. And the view from the castle is really good. Yes. And Ooh, is it open? now yes, it's open. we're what is? The Lebanese place. Oh the Lebanese lunch. place. There's Yay. good restaurant. Good restaurants along I'll here. Say, well, I'll take you for lunch. Yeah, nice. You got the castle up there when you come down from a hard day trekking up and down the steps of the castle you can drive don't forget you can drive up to the top and park behind the castle which is a much better solution um and then you can just wander down into this little square area and then you've got just straight away you've got three restaurants that are great for lunch i'm not saying these are the best restaurants in nafleo they might not be but i quite like them got the giro house of course you know how can you have a big city like this well big town like this without a giro house uh, and our favourite restaurant is a uh, Mandaloon, which is a Lebanese restaurant. And the Lebanese is ideal because it's a little bit spicy, it's a little bit different, it's different textures, different flavours. So we really like coming to the Lebanese place here, Mandaloon. But then next to it, you've got Alpha, which is like a uh, kind of Italian restaurant, pizza, pasta, things like this. Little, little few extras as well, meat grill and... Um, what else do they do? Yeah, tortillas, strangely enough. So kind of a Mex Italian, Mex Italian, Texan. So what have you got? I went for the soup, falafel soup. Oh. Which has obviously falafel. Um, I asked for Nora sauce instead, which is um, lemon, yogurt, mint, I think and it's got salad stuff in it too. I went for the Mexican, hot and spicy. Just like you. <laughs> just like me, just a bit just like me. <laughs> Cheeky girl. So of course, the, the other good thing about all of these little restauranty places for lunchtime is that uh, it's right next to the Park Hotel, okay? And the Park Hotel is another popular hotel here in Nafleo. I'll put some photos of that here and you can see what it's like inside. Um, so this is another popular hotel to stay at in Nafleo. And just panning around, of course, you know, you've got some great little restaurants here. They're actually renovating the park area at the moment. Um, they've been doing this for a number of months now, spending loads of money on re giving this a facelift, rejuvenating it, making it all cool and everything. And of course, you are right underneath the big thing on the hill there, which is the Nafleo Castle. So there we go. The old steam train parked up in Nafleo. Excellent, you can climb on it, there's nothing to stop you. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna stick the camera in here. You can imagine years ago, this thing puffing its way up to Athens yeah, cool. How cool is that, eh? Anyway, right, let's crack on. So the Boulevard near the park, and they've added these installations. They weren't here before, were they? They weren't here before, no. And we've been lots of times. And we've been a few times here, yeah. And um, oh, is this where they also have the market? No, the market's on the next road up. Oh, the market's on the next road up, isn't it? Yeah, it's over that way. 
Yeah. But Nafleo Market on a Saturday is cool. You should do that. And on a Wednesday and a Saturday. And a Wednesday as well. Yeah. Yeah. Nafleo Market. Market. <laughs> All along the bottom of the uh, castle. Yeah. Palamedi Hill. Yeah, well, it's near the fire station, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh look, they've made a bird bath. That's cool. Yeah, it's got a cigarette packet in it. Ah, okay. Well, anyway, so lots of these interesting sculptory things, marbles. Yeah. Very cool. Look. Very cool. Let's just shoot back down there. And sometimes it's better to escape from the main drag by just going down one of the side alleys and exploring all of the small boutique shops and restaurants and cafes and things that are down in the little side streets, which are most charming, you see. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we're in kind of the central square in Nafrio and in front of us we've got the museum. Hang on, you can't see that, can you? Let me come in like this. Here you can see the museum and now it's not quite high season yet. Let me come this side of the camera. It's not quite high season yet. It's the beginning, or it's the, it's the first week in May and so some of the places aren't open but this is normally all full of people eating there's Tanya, she's not eating. And tour groups and things like that, and just enjoying the ambience yeah, of Nafleo, which in high season is really quite busy, and in low season is really quite laid back. Let's put it like that. I didn't say empty. Good. Right, excellent. Let's get away from the mad maddening crowds or madding? I never know which one it is. Madding, is it? Madding, I don't know why. Maddening, it makes me mad, that's what I think. Get a photo of Tanya. <laughs> Bortsy Castle. A what? Bortsy Castle. A bouncy Car castle. Bortsy Castle. Bortsy. Yeah. How do you say it? I think it's Bortsy. Bortsy Castle. Castle, which is in the harbour of, or just outside the harbour. Oh, it is in the harbour, isn't it? Nathalie. A prison and then a hotel. A prison and then a hotel. Yeah, and they used to put chains, I believe, to stop, stop boats getting in. Oh, Raiders. right. I might, oh, have, okay. I might have made that up, I think it's true. You might have made it up. But it'll be on my blog post. But anyway, if you wonder what the noise is behind us, it's all of these bars and restaurants and restaurants and bars with people and bars and restaurants drinking and eating in bars and restaurants right next to the sea, which could be worse, couldn't it? Fish and cuttlefish. Yeah, cuttlefish, fish, dolphins. Turtles. Turtles, yeah, dugons, other other <laughs> other kinds of strange mammals, ginger ones, <laughs> bald ones, cardboard boxes, yeah, all of that, and um, yeah, and yachts as well. We're walking around the the bottom of the castle, basically. The castle's up there. Look, but this isn't Palamini Castle; it's the other one. Look, the castle's right up there. This is the small castle. We're going to walk around the headland and then you're going to see the shot of the big castle on top of the big hill. And then we're going to uh, also have a look at the beach as well. Nafleo the beaches. Vigo. There's the sea. Here's the view. Sorry about the buffeting on the microphone. There's the funny castle on the island. There's the sea, there's trees, cliffs, castle, Tanya, path, headland, light with 
some guy thinking he's going to dive in from it which I think he actually is going to dive in from it himself. could be exciting Bro broken neck or could be exciting or a call to <laughs> the paramedics no I don't want to watch this I don't think he should do that on top of the hill here here is the castle let me stay still for a minute I'll see if I can zoom in you can see all of the castle up on top of the hill and then underneath the castle here Palamede castle, isn't it? this is Palamede castle underneath here you can see the beach <laughs> Yay! So we're at Naf Naflio Beach. This is like the main beach. And um, for a town beach, this is pretty cool. But of course, it's typically Greek. Um, this is a stone beach, which is fine because you don't get sand everywhere. Stones are small enough and round, so you don't hurt your feet. And of course, that means the water is crystal clear. Uh, and like I said, you don't get sand in your bits, which is kind of refreshing, isn't it, Tanya? It is. No sand in your bits. No, you don't want sand in your bits. No. And um, so it's quite well facilitated, I guess you say. It's got like a bar area and toilets and changing rooms and things. And it's got little jetties for you to sit on over there and you can get straight in the sea down some swimming pool style steps. Much as you can this way, looking up this way, up towards the promenade that we just walked around the headland, which is we just come around that corner there and the harbour is around that headland. So very, very cool. And to get out, all we're going to do is just walk up the back here and we're in the town centre and I'll show you a little bit of that in a minute. And uh, we're going to drive through Naflio and we're going to go to Amalia Hotel. Amalia Hotel to have a look at that because I've not been there. I'm not going to go in it. I'm just going to have a look at it. Yeah. What's special about Amalia Hotel? Well, it's supposedly the most famous hotel oh. in Naflio. We're better going to stay here. It's yeah, and, and it's surprisingly, it's not very expensive either. Like, I was checking it out and they could get a room there today in the middle of May for oh, nice. 132 euros. And the room looks really nice. For a special treat. Mm. So we're at Hotel Amalia. Yay. Let's go and have a look. A tennis courts. Yeah. Oh, it looks nice. Here. Mm. Hotel Amalia. Cool. So here we are oh, in Nathlion, and what I want to do is I want to park near the, no, I want to park near the fire station. That's right? also near the bus station, that's good. And I want to park near the fire station because I want to show you Cine World, which is the famous theatre in Nathlio, which shows all of the completely cool films mm. so we're gonna go and just drive up here uh, 
that's where the bus station is, isn't right? There. And the bus station is up here as well. Well, that's convenient, isn't it's it? It's very convenient. This for is me. Castello Hotel. That's lovely. Here. I stayed there last time. This is an amazing hotel. Tanya says I've not been there, but Tanya rates it, which I do is rate nice. It. And also Daf uh, Daphne's where we stayed. Daphne's Hotel, which there. is up this way. It's up there in the old quarter, which we're going to have a walk around in a moment. And Naflio is super cool. Yeah, it's busy now. You can tell the tourist season. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. But it's cool in the winter as well, isn't it? Yeah, we've been in uh, December, January and February. And in fact, in February, in February we came, it was lovely. Yeah. Really nice weather. Yeah, How yeah, yeah. we've been in July. In fact, we've probably been in nearly every month now, haven't we? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. One of our favourites. So opposite the big Cosmotti building here, You've actually got Cine... Sorry, matey, I was just dawdling then. <laughs> yeah, here we've got Cine Naflio. Yay! Cine Naflio. So I've just been in to ask, and you can see Guardians of the Galaxy 3 here tonight at 6.20 for seven euros. Yeah, and it's in English with Greek subtitles. And it opens at 6... 5.30. It opens at 5.30. So you can get here at 5.30, get yourself a drink, get yourself a seat, get yourself ready for 20 past six to watch Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yeah, how cool is that? Da -da. Yeah, here at Cine Nafio. Um, but it's apparently, it's a really cool cinema. And for seven euros, that's really quite reasonable, isn't it? For a really cool cinema. So, so that's the end of our three hours in Naflio. We fit quite a lot in, didn't we? We did really, yeah. But we definitely come back for at least three days next time. Yeah, there's more in than the more than enough to do here for three days. If, not four. if the summer's if if the weather's nice. There's loads of day trips as well you can go from here if you've got a car. Um, there's a couple of places you can go to on bus as well, lots of taxis, so Yeah, and there's another beach just around the corner that we haven't been to yet as well. It's worth driving there, I think. You can walk it, but it takes a little while. But it's kind of on the next sort of bit round from Nafleo. It's most, supposed to be a really smart beach there, but we haven't been oh, there yet. Have we? No, nope, not yet. And oh, then you go further okay. down the coast, you're in Tolo, which is also cool. Check out the other video for Tolo. Oh. I'll put the little video here, little video, video linky link thing here. Click on that for Tolo, which is just around the corner, so you can get there easily. The thing to do is to like, share, subscribe. Patreons, thank you to all of our Patreons. Uh, I'll list them here, kind of thing. Um, I don't know how this is going to work, but if you want to watch the next video, then this box. <laughs> if you want to watch the playlist, then this box. Can you see me? Yeah, this box. And if you want to subscribe, this circle. Everybody out there, be cool, be good, and stay safe, you.